Who am I? I work as a reporter for the City of the Dam Daily News. Big man at the office. I write the most popular column, the obituaries. On a normal day, I'll average about 60 write-ups. Most of the time, the cause of death is a bullet to the head or a knife to the stomach. On this particular Tuesday afternoon, I find myself sitting alone in a Burger Bell restaurant. Their food looks like something my cat would scuff at, but I enjoy the ambiance. The faint rhythm of a 1930s jazz tune is playing softly over the speakers. Sunlight shines through the tall dining room window under the cheap plastic tables. Promotional signs line the walls that tell me about Wally Brunt, a puffed up marshmallow of a man. I come here so often I practically got it memorized. Wally and his vision. A vision of a restaurant where people can enjoy big burgers in a relaxing atmosphere. I wonder if Wally died a happy man knowing his vision came true. You get some interesting types in Burger Bell on a lazy afternoon. Any half-decent person would have a job at this hour. Over in the corner, a young couple is arguing. I can barely hear them, save for one word. Abortion. I mind my business. After a few minutes, the girl storms out, leaving the guy alone. He looks so small. Oblivious to all of this, next to the wall across from me, sits a bloated middle-aged woman. She has several half-eaten dishes of food on her table. Propped up in front of her, she holds a hard-covered book. I twist my head down to read the title. A Day with a Perfect Stranger. I glance at her a few times. If she looks up, I'll ask her about the book. She doesn't look up. An elderly woman with tan skin in an employee uniform has started cleaning the dining room tables. I can make out her name tag. Carmen. I look up to see her face. Carmen's face. It must have looked beautiful in her youth. But age. Age has bloated and mingled it. She cleans the tables, disinfects them for customers that don't look at her. Customers that quickly eat their food and move on with their lives. Not giving a thought to Carmen. Carmen, who works at Burger Bell. A film about Carmen's life plays through my head. Born in the South 76 years ago. At 18, she crossed the border. She worked for a year or two, and then she met a man. They started a family and had several kids. She lived a little life filled with small joys and sorrows. Her children grew, left home, and started families of their own. The years quietly drifted by. Her husband died of a stroke at 68. She now lives in a single-room apartment a few miles away from the restaurant where she works. Carmen's kids visit her once in a while, but the visits have become few and far between. Carmen spends her remaining days cleaning tables for ungrateful customers. Her life has reached its final act, but Carmen's last act will not end with a clever twist or awe-inspiring climax like in the movies. No. Carmen's life will end abruptly one morning, just like any other. Carmen won't get out of bed. Carmen won't go to work. Carmen won't have to clean another table ever again. Carmen's life will have ended. Soon the world will forget that she existed at all. Carmen looks up from her cleaning. She approaches my table. I stand. No, no, sit, she requests. I smile politely and say that I've finished. Carmen doesn't look convinced. She must have noticed me watching her. Took interest to mean irritation. I humbly step aside and let her continue her work. Before leaving, I look over to day with a perfect stranger woman. Still in another world, no doubt. Having a lovely day with a perfect stranger. I slowly push open the restaurant door. Before my final step, I look back and take one last glance at the people inside as they go about their business, the fading sunlight shimmering on their skin. Before my final step out, I look back and take one last glance at the people inside as they go about their business, the fading sunlight shimmers on their skin. A few moments pass. I look back out the door at the city. A faint, melancholic smile creeps upon my face. Back into the city that swallows people's lives. Back into the heart of the beast. Sometimes I wonder about the final product. The purpose of this world. The reason for it all. Why do we keep going? 
To tell you the truth, I haven't a clue. But I do know that when I look at someone like Carmen, it makes me sad. And as I walk down the street looking at the last dying light, I can't help but wonder, why am I smiling?